Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today we're doing a Q&A. Now I know I've done a lot of Q&As recently but you guys have questions and I want to answer them. So we're doing a Q&A. Woo! First question I've got is ducks or ducks? Ducks. Quack quack. We like ducks. Ducks are friends. I was looking at tattoo designs of ducks and there's one that I really want to get on. Look, it's on. There. But I can't afford to right now because I'm saving for a trip to Australia. And there's a siren. The next question is, why are you so beautiful? Thanks, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but thank you. Next question is, how do you stay strong when you want to give up? So, when I get down and I want to everything to end because I'm suicidal, I just think about how my sisters would grow up without me and the little, my littlest sister who's 12 I think it really really affect her because she has really bad anxiety as it is and I don't want to put her through more. Don't get me wrong, I, I've always wanted to protect my family but sometimes I get to a point where I feel like they would be better off without me. Which is hard to live with. Now I don't talk to my mum very often because she runs a pub, she doesn't have the spare time anymore. Because she's working from 12 till near enough midnight. So I don't have much contact with her. But how do I stay strong? I think about what the loss of me would do to my family. And for some reason that always gets me out of that mindset. And to be perfectly honest, the, another motivation I have is I don't want to be another statistic. Any future plans? Well, I'm p currently planning a documentary that I'm gonna get funding for, hopefully and hopefully that will kickstart me into making documentaries full time because that's what I want to do, I want to be a documentary maker. What motivated you to run a mental health channel? I don't know really, I was struggling with my mental health and I didn't have any friends to turn to so I started a YouTube channel and it just grew and now we're at 6,536 subscribers which is insane. The only reason I know the exact number is because I've got on my phone in front of me. <laughs> but the idea behind my channel is to show that you're not alone. I made it when I felt alone and then people started to interact and engage. I've done some incredible collaborations over the years and honestly it's made it so I... Uh, next question is, how did your mum find out about your self-harm? Honestly, I don't know. I never told her. And I remember the first time she saw my scars, she was like, are they scars? And I was like, yeah. And she just went silent and I just walked off. Because I was just a bit... I was a moody teenager. You can't see my scars now as much. You can't see them on camera. They're not, they're not very deep or anything, they're just white little scratches but I don't know how my mom found out about my self-harm because I certainly never told her I think she found out about my eating disorder faster than she found out about my self-harm when I look back on it because well my self-harm wasn't that obvious I just wore shirts all the time she never even questioned it really because I've always been really cold all the time anyway but yeah, I don't really know when she found out about myself. She knows I did it, 
But I don't know how she found out. I'll have to, I'll have to ask her when I see her. What pens do you use to colour? I have this bag. Oh, I'll get it quickly. This bag. I got a use because I was inspired by Alana. How do you deal with everyday challenges as well as mental health? So, everyday challenges such as getting around. Um, I use a cane. Does anyone just know? But the fact I'll show you my cane. That's my mobility because my mobility is not good. My knee gives way a lot, so I have to be really careful with that. Honestly, my mental health is pretty well managed through medication. Yes, sometimes I have bad days. And when I have bad days, I don't get out of bed. Apart from to get on my meds. Honestly, I don't really cope as such. I just get on with everyday life, with the mobility aids that I have. So, it's just a bit hit and miss, really. Most days I'm fine. But if I'm having a bad day with my mental health, I don't do a lot. Are you really okay? I am. I dyed my hair yesterday. Which is what yesterday's video was for you, I think. I'm working in advance for videos. Oh no, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before yesterday. The 29th. But yeah, I'm okay. Like I said, I am working on a project at the minute of a documentary that I want to make and once i get once it's made i'll sh share it with you guys but i am getting my life together what's your favorite thing to do make youtube videos i genuinely enjoy doing youtube and i love editing the videos because you never know how it's going to turn out especially with me i go on tangents all the time <laughs> if i had i should do a outtake video once a month of all the rambles that I go on. That'd be a long ass video, considering I post every day. Why don't you have a job? Because I can't physically do them. The only jobs that are available are high court enforcement agents, which I have a ton of debt. So I can't do that. Because my credit, my credit score wouldn't let me do that. And I don't drive, so I couldn't do that. And there's nursery technicians, which I'm not qualified to do. And I can't afford a DBS check. Then we have the restaurants and cafes. I can't stand up all the time when I have to use a cane. How am I going to serve a table with, while I'm hobbling with the cane? What happens when you go to hospital for self-harm? So, this should be a whole video in itself. But I'll go over it quickly. Basically, you get seen, you get dress, get dressings, you, you do stitches, all this is superficial. Which, no matter what it is, it's still serious, it's still a mental health issue. It's a bad coping skill. You see the cyclase and team, which I've made a video on. How do your family feel about your mental health? Well, my grandparents understand it really well and they're really supportive. Another fucking siren. Living in London and filming videos just, it's, it's impossible. <laughs> so my family and my mental health. My grandparents are super supportive. And they have, t they have conversations with me about it. My grandma is the only person who knows I got arrested. I opened up to her last time I was with her that I got arrested. And me and my grandparents are pretty close.
we do video call every day as well. And when we don't, I have panic attacks thinking something's awful's happened. Thank you, anxiety. My mom is supportive. She understands my mental health, but she doesn't like talking about it. My uncle and aunt don't really know much about my mental health, other than what I share on Facebook, which isn't much. Um, they did say to my grandparents last time that I saw them that I seem to be doing a lot better and I'm back to my old happy self, which I guess I'm happy now. How do you feel about having labels? Now, I personally don't see them as labels. I see them as diagnosis. And when you have a diagnosis, you can access the right treatment, which is what's important. And when you have a diagnosis, you can access the right treatment for your mental illness. Whether that's medication, therapy, electroconvulsive therapy, that's a bit extreme to put in this, but why not? I accidentally stabbed my hand with, with, with the glue of my blood sugar lancet. I accidentally pressed it and it went in my hand and it fucking killed. Jesus Christ. So I had to get another needle, put it back in, and I kept my hand away from it. But yeah, that's just me beating me. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new, subscribe. If you have any questions you'd like answering, please comment them down below. Or if you want to be notified when I'm planning on doing a Q&A, go follow my Instagram. Because that is where I get my questions from. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.